hey guys so i'm back with another video and today's video i wanted to really try out this new trend which is well it's not new i'm kind of late on it actually but i just wanted to try it out so so as you guys can tell from the title i'm going to be trying out the whole baby powder setting powder type situation it's like a little makeup pack or whatever it's been going around youtube instagram and stuff like that and i really wanted to try it out so if you're wondering i look a w little weird because i already um i've already primed my face and i've also already color corrected and i used um my l'oreal infallible pro glow concealer in the shade what number what shade is this in the shade sand beige so you already did that so that's why my face is like really patchy and stuff like that so i'm going to go ahead and set this with the baby powder because i want to see how the baby powder does underneath my makeup as well as setting under my eyes i'm really nervous about the under the eye part but i want to see and if i and i also want to see if it's going to have flashback on me i've seen a lot of people do this but they were a little bit they were a little bit lighter than me so it's kind of like white powder lighter skin it doesn't really make the big of a deal but i'm a little bit darker so i wanted to see how it work on me and my baby powder just the regular kind there you go just the regular kind of baby powder and i'm just going to put it on my brush i guess because i don't have nothing to dump it into Ugh. okay so i have it on my brush i'm gonna set my concealer i'm nervous because of someone who's like this is not really that good to put on your skin but i'm like you put baby powder on your skin anyway when you're really using it so i don't know <coughs> okay guys when you're putting this on your nose don't talk because i almost died just now but i mean you know it has a little pleasant baby powder smell i guess I don't want to put too much because that's like unrealistic because I wouldn't even set my face with a whole lot of powder, a whole, whole lot of powder anyway. Okay, so I look real crazy and ashy, which I usually use my airspun on my Laura Mercier powder and they're both pretty white or, you know, translucent. I'm trying to see if anything's coming off. Okay, 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 okay. So that was that. And guys, my if you guys are wondering about my hair, this is my Nadula Brazilian Body Wave hair. And I freaking love this hair so much. I just had it in some pin curls, and so it's still got a little curl to it. But this hair is doing so freaking nice. I love this company. I've already tried out their Indian straight hair, and it was bomb. So I really love this company. I will leave all of the links down below to this company if you're interested. So yeah, I'm going to finish styling my hair at the end of this video too. So I'm just using my Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation that I always use. I'm probably going to end up running out of this stuff because ever since I got it, I don't use any other foundation. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to just put it on like I normally would. And let's see. I really hope this does not have flashback because this is one of those things where if you were to forget your setting powder but you had some baby powder or you were by a store like a little convenience store or something you could use this act but i mean of course there's makeup in convenience stores now so i don't know <clears throat> but i'm just interested to see because like when i was in high school and stuff and i really wasn't wearing makeup like that i used to use the most weirdest stuff for my makeup or i would just use anything as a hack like i just was so resourceful in high school because i didn't have a lot of stuff like makeup wise or whether it had to do a weave or whatever i would just do so much random stuff you would be like you use what for what yes girl but i'm just putting on my foundation with this brush because i do not feel like going to wet my beauty blender.
Okay guys, it literally took me a million years to blend out my foundation. I guess because I'm not really that used to using a brush. But I'm going to go ahead and put on my under eye concealer. I'm just using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm pretty sure that this is in Warm Honey. And then... When I get done with this, I'm going to blend everything out. Of course, I'm just doing like my regular everyday steps. So I'm going to blend that out and then I'm going to set everything with the baby powder. Okay, so I've gone ahead and blended out my concealer. So now is the point of truth. I'm really scared. But luckily, I'm not going anywhere. So. If it turns out like trash, it's cool. It's cool. So I'm just going to take it and I guess dump it. Oh, I poured so much on my beauty blender. But low key, this is how much I will be using of like my Laura Mercier powder. So I'm gonna dab a little bit off. I'm not trying to look ghostly. I'm like I'm I'm actually trying to make this look good, okay? So I got a little bit on here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start setting. Hmm. Let me turn. I want y'all to like really be able to see this. Low key, that looks kind of good though. Can y'all see the difference? Like this side looks more matte. I don't know if y'all can tell. Hmm. Y'all, this low key looks really good. Hmm. And I literally don't look ashy. I think that this looks so freaking good. Y'all can see that. Like that literally kind of looks bomb. Um, this low key looks better than when I really use setting powder. And it's like extremely matte, like extremely. And I'm not an oily person, but of course, when I put my concealer on, I'm gonna look kind of greasy until I set it. So this is like doing a freaking bomb job at setting it. So it does it set? It does set your makeup. Now we just have to figure out how it looks when I put the flash on. I did my nose. Shoot, I kind of want to put this all over my face. I'm going to put it kind of like all over my face. And then I'm going to go in contour so I don't be too light. So I'm just putting it back onto my powder brush. Hopefully this does not ruin it. So I do look a little light. This is how my hand looks compared to my face. But I'm going to go in contour and then I'm going to come back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and contoured a little bit. I forgot that I had a cream contour now, so I didn't even do it, but 
that's not the purpose of this video so i'm gonna go ahead and take a picture real quick and just see how it looks i'm not gonna like finish my whole face because i just i don't know so i'm just eager to see how this looks so i'm gonna take a picture y'all there is no oh my camera's about to die my phone about to die there is no oh yeah, there's no flashback can y'all see that i didn't want to show my whole room because it's a mess but do y'all see that there is no flashback my face actually looks i feel like it looks softer no this literally looks better than when i be doing my makeup for real i don't want to show my bed and stuff because i'm changing my sheets right now but y'all Look at my freaking face. I am shook. Do y'all see that for real? Like seriously. There is literally no flashback. That looks so freaking bomb. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm pretty much done with my makeup. Not even pretty much. I'm done. Oh, I didn't do my lips, but do we care about lips? Ugh, I guess. Okay guys, so I am done with my makeup and I just added a lip color. It's kind of still drying so it might look a little weird. But you guys, I'm done and this is how it looks when I set my face with baby powder. I did it under my makeup, on top of my makeup, under my eyes and all of that great stuff. And honestly guys, I think it looks pretty good for, you know, baby powder being like what, $3, $4 versus Laura Mercier which is like what, 30 something dollars. So... You know, I think it did pretty good. Here's a close-up so you guys can see. So, I don't know if y'all can see, but under my eyes, I do have a little bit of creasing. Like, it's like, it's creasing and it's kind of like separating a little bit. I don't know if you guys like, I don't know. There you go. You can see. So you're like right under my eyes it's like creasing and separating and that would be like my main complaint but everywhere else it doesn't crease or separate so i don't know why under my eyes it is i guess because under my eyes i have like a little bit of creasing but nowhere else in my face i really do so if you're somebody who has like laugh lines or creasing anywhere else on your skin this might not be the best idea for you to try this i mean I think that the main reason why it started to crease is because it took me mad long to do my makeup because I was just doing other stuff. So, of course, when I if I had done this like real fast, showed you guys the results and cut off the video, it probably would have looked flawless still. But this is like a real depiction of like how long it will last. It hasn't even been. It's been a little minute, but it hasn't been like an hour or nothing like that. But it is creasing already. But it has been staying. But it still does look pretty matte to me. I did spray a setting spray also. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to take another picture so you guys can see how it looks with my full makeup look. So, this is how it looks. There is literally no creasing. Can you guys see that? I mean, not creasing. There is no flashback. So, that's still really good. There's no flashback, but like I said, I do see creasing personally under my eyes. Um, in real life, if you were looking at me, you probably wouldn't be able to really notice the creasing. But since I'm up close and personal, I can see it. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Even on camera, you really can't see the creasing that much. So, it, I set it on my forehead. You guys saw me put the powder everywhere. So, I think it actually looks really good. Um... Yeah, so I'm pretty actually surprised and happy with the results of this whole little, you know, tutorial. Not really tutorial, but um, I don't know what to call it. Beauty hack. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I was I was saying I was going to go and fix my hair. But literally this hair is so good, it doesn't even need to be fixed. I'm just going to brush it out right there. So I just cut up the exposure some so you guys could just see a little more clearly. But yeah, so this is my hair. This is my makeup. I would actually go somewhere like this, to be honest. I'll probably just touch up under my eyes a little bit more. 
but I am just you know it looks pretty good it looks like my regular makeup look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again if you guys are wondering about this bomb hair this is my Nadula hair from AliExpress I will have the links down below to this hair if you're interested in if you're interested in it if you're interested in the bay powder Walgreens Walmart you know <laughs> just go wherever so once again thank you guys so much for watching and comment down below if you have any other hack videos that you would like for me to test out and I will see you guys in my next video Bye guys, thank you for watching.